Hey guys, what's happening? It's week seven, and if you were with me last week on week six, you cleaned up and went to the friggin' bank, baby. 2-0-1, oh, and, and a push. Remember, no money exchange, just a smile on your face because you won the two games prior to that. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, Indianapolis, mm, they won. They didn't cover. They won by three. It was a push, but no worries, pal. I'm above 500 now, and I'm looking to go well above 500. Now, you can count your money all the way to the bank. Last week's game of the year, I gave you my 1 o'clock lock, which was the Rams getting eight from the Chargers. And I told you, that game was, you play it like it was already played. You turn the TV off. You can go to the mall, go shopping with your wife, go shopping with your girlfriend, bring both. Who gives a shit? You lost money at the mall, but you won money with the book. That's all that matters, people. And I'm going to give you three more locks this week. We're looking to go 3-0. and Okay? No pushing. Anyway, pushing for facts. 1 o'clock lock. Here's my 1 o'clock lock. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, my 1 o'clock lock is the Cincinnati Bengals getting a plus 3 and a half in Atlanta. They're in a dome. It's nice and warm. I know it's not home, but Cincinnati's coming off a bye week. They're well-rested. And let's face it, Cincinnati's defense is much better than the Atlanta defense. Uh, Atlanta seems to have problems with really good defenses. Look what happened with San Fran. Unfortunately, San Fran doesn't have any kind of an offense. Uh, look for the Bengals to come out fired up in this game after losing the other week. Uh, before the bye to Tampa, uh, and a really horrible game, but then they got clicking offensively as the game went on. Look for that to continue into this game. Look for Terrell Owens, who historically has great games against the Atlanta Falcons, to tear it up. Ocho Stinko, look for him to bounce back and hopefully have a better game this week. Uh, said Benson, he's going to tote the rock. Look for him to get a touchdown or two. Uh, and the defense, look for them to possibly score. Don't forget, Cincinnati is very tough on special teams and defensively. They put pressure on quarterbacks. And Matt Ryan this year, it doesn't look like he handles pressure very well. He's been kind of flat. Michael Turner's been toting all the, uh, the whole offense. And Roddy White. And that's got to end soon. Gonzalez really hasn't been the Gonzalez that we've seen years ago in Kansas City. Uh, Jenkins just disappeared. I mean, let's face it, Atlanta really is playing flat this year. Uh, I had higher hopes for them, but unfortunately they turned out to be very flat. Look for Cincinnati to win that game outright. Uh, getting three and a half, they're a what? A lock, that's right. Four o'clock lock, okay? We're going to move out west to the Pacific, great Pacific Northwest. Uh, we're going to go with Seattle uh, giving the five and a half to Arizona. I know it's a divisional game, but Arizona is just flat out horrible defensively against the pass. And Seattle, let's face it, this uh, Hasselback has been healthy. He's been playing well. I look for Mike Williams to tear it up. Uh, look for Marshawn Lynch after that off uh, defense softens a little bit to tear it up. Marshawn Lynch should have a great game, four set out of the backfield. And don't forget, Seattle brings the D. Not only with the 12th man like they're known for out there, but the defense on the actual field. Been playing very tough. Um, Larry Fitzgerald should get a couple balls, but probably too late. Beanie Wells, let's face it, he's been not even there. High tower, horrible. The tower crumbled there. Uh, look for Seattle, minus the 5.5 over Arizona to just go and clobber them. Look for a blowout in this game. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Go with it. Now, 8 o'clock lock. Who's Geno going to take? Well, there's only one game, and guess who it is? Minnesota plus the three over Green Bay. Now, I know this is in Green Bay, and Green Bay historically has always been very tough and very hard to play, but let's face it. It's not going to be under 32 degrees. They don't have Brett Favre anymore. As a matter of fact, Green Bay doesn't even have much of an offense. Jennings I don't trust too much. Uh, Jermichael Finley's done. Ryan Grant, done. Look for them to, like, and defensively, they're banged up. Uh, Clay Matthews is banged up, may not even play. He's one of their best defensive players. Uh, Woodson hasn't been great this year. Uh, Tory Bigby, nyeh. Anyway, look for uh, Minnesota and Brett Favre's homecoming. Brett Favre's going to come in here, and despite all the controversy and everything going on with his junk, um, that's over on the East Coast. We're going to be in the Central time. We're going to be in Green Bay, and guess what? It's going to be Favre time. Who plays great at that field? Brett Favre. Who plays great on Sunday and Monday nights? Anytime he's in the spotlight, Brett Favre. I know he's got the elbow problems. I know he's got groin problems. I know he's got all kinds of problems. He's got problems on and off the field. 
but look for him to showcase himself and get nuts. Randy Moss is not, they can't even, they can't double team him. They can't even single team him. Randy Moss is going to get in the end zone a couple times. Look for him to go off this game. Look for Adrian Peterson to continue his bestiality on the field. He has been a beast. He has been a monster running hard and angry the last couple weeks. He's going to continue that here. And their defense, don't forget, I've said this before, their defense is very tough. And Green Bay's offense is just beat up. Okay? Take the Minnesota Vikings. Take the three points and take it to the bank. Okay? And until next week, week eight, count your money from week seven. Definitely count your money from week six. And until then, you take it easy.